Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Today is August 18, 2020. Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator here. Night attack. Night attack. Gonna get, uh, well, hello, everybody. We're gonna be short, uh, one Justin Robert Young for a lot of the pre-show, but then we'll have him here as he wraps up talking about the, uh, uh, the DNC, the Democratic National Convention. Which is just, just two weeks of fun. It's just fun. It's just two weeks of fun. Yo, you know those people, like, at the golf course who put their, um sunglasses on backwards uh sure oh yeah yeah, yeah. Can, can i can we make this the thing but, oh he's got his face mask on backwards it went out and that's one of the ones that wraps all around your ears so it, you it's not going to be secure no it's not going to be secure. maybe maybe oh over on the no. top of the head no. kind of a uh uh oh man what would that be Butter. kind of a skull cap the bonnet kind of a, yeah a bonnet oh that's that's good hey brian hey man uh g give me just a second i'm almost ready oh okay uh, I showed up earlier than I should have. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. Earlier than his start time. Uh, hello, everybody. We're going to get... Uh, we're doing the pre-show. Hello. Uh, let's do the thing that we do here at the beginning of the pre-show, which is... Bryce's birthday borner. Da -da 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 -da. If you were born between August 12 and August 18... Let me know. You only have a couple minutes. I only have a couple minutes. Frankly, the, the, the birthday thing, it starts at the beginning. It starts at the beginning of the stream, and it only happens for a little while. So people who come in and say, hey, are you done birthdays yet? Are you going to do birthdays? Like, A, just tell me it's your birthday. First, don't ask. Just tell me. And B, you got to get in early. Now, Sanguine Bishop, Sanguine Bishop's birthday was on Friday the 14th. Happy birthday, Sanguine Bishop. Thank you so much for joining us here on your birthday week well i guess last week would have been your birthday week really doesn't really really it doesn't really matter scoop jd's is in two days we'll see you next week then scoop jd but not today not today no sir kingsma ah kingsma birthday was yesterday happy birthday kingsma everybody can we get some happy birthdays in the chat please happy birthdays in the chat Force. Uh, for Sanguine Bishop and Kingsba. Now, uh, it's Tuesday. It's the 18th. Uh, we, I'm sure we still have a lot of people who are watching, who are overwatching Justin do his thing. Um, doing the, doing the, the national convention. They're doing the virtual Democratic National Convention. Two weeks also? Is it always take two weeks? I thought it was like a three day thing. I don't know. I watched some of it yesterday. I was watching uh, a friend of the show, uh, Jack Allison, Jack AM on Twitch. I was watching his commentary. I, I, I love Justin, but Jack aligns a little more with the 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 type of <laughs> the type of politics for me. And uh, man, it was uh, it's uh, it's it's a lot of decisions. A lot of oh, the RNC is next week. I see. It's a lot of decisions being made at the Democratic National Convention. And so we're actually starting everything a half hour late uh, this week. Pre-show got started late. We'll probably start the actual show a little bit late. And I think it, Justin won't even be able to... He'll, 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 I think he'll miss the last half hour or so of the National Convention. And I think, I, you know... Monday into early day. No one cares. What really? No one cares. Really, no one cares. I, I, you know, I was watching it. At, for all of the like, well, oh, like half of all these speakers are just actual Republicans. Or if, fucking who's on it today? Cal Colin Powell, the architect of the Iraq War, on the DNC. But at the end of the day, the DNC doesn't matter. It does. It really doesn't matter. It is. It's just. It's just. Everyone is so starved. Just starved for content. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and Jill Biden. That's right. And so uh, I guess a lot of Jill Biden's talking points leaked. So uh, Justin. Justin's already set up. Uh, I got a thing to let everybody know. We have an email address. Mail at nightattack.tv. That's an email address. You go to your browser. Type up your 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 Google Mail, 
get your hay, get your get your outlook, get your hot mail for all of our Canadian friends. Send us an email. Send us a question or a comment. Uh, we like getting them. We'd love to get even more. Uh, we're going to have a game today. We, we, we'll have a game today. Another game from Joe. Joe, who has just been just been great it wasn't it wasn't until i i i joe's joe has written a good amount of games for us thank you joe and so we're gonna be playing another one of his it's actually a follow-up he actually i think he must he must well we 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 did one of joe's games uh we did the previous version of this game from joe about six months ago but i actually oh you know what i probably archived it that's probably i have an archive folder um yeah there we go from about six six months ago but uh uh but joe's just sending a lot of games it's it's really easy for a really a lot of, uh, we, we want to talk about making a game for the show you know like there are some games that are like very like involved right you you look at like the monster match right which is like okay there's you have to like go and do actual a lot of research and put together like all this stuff um but there are like very easy games as well like i mean fucking real or fake right or like an either or we, we did last week uh, uh scatman john or enya that's just an either or game um you know it's uh, uh it's it's there, there's a, there's a whole spectrum of this so you know one, one thing i say sometimes when i mentioned like you know you can send us a game like sometimes the easiest thing to do is just like find a list of something right find a list of like like uh tally Zorro has sent in a couple of times like uh, she is she knows a bunch of a bunch of science shit and so she just sends us like this great list of, like here are some real science things and here are some fake science things just like that's it um um and so uh, th this one today is a little more involved uh joe went and found a lot of links and did did a little bit of uh, a little bit of housekeeping for this but um uh, even this is pretty simple. It's just like, hey, here are some videos. We, we've done it before. It's what with the what could go wrong game. It's like, just, you know, watch a video and then stop at this point and then guess what's going on. Like, you know, the, the actual like gamey part of it is is not the most interesting thing. Like what is most necessary when, when coming up with the games, either coming up with ideas or editing for these games is like, how do, how many points along the way will the guys get to like talk about something or joke or make a bit have a funny thing or have a or actually you know have a reaction or response to the game itself so that was a lot of scatman john for enya last week right a lot that boy's got some enya -ish, enya ish lyrics um, but even like new six new six is a great example. new six is a little more involved because it's like you gotta go and find the stories you gotta pull out copy you gotta um uh, find you have to like come up with a new question because you know you like the best part of new six is when the question is like not even directly about the story um that's a little more involved but that is like a wide spectrum every question is an opportunity for the guys to talk about something uh to, to talk about something right um uh, whether it's whatever a topical thing is whatever an old thing is and then the questions get to be like a secondary layer on that like okay so if we're talking about Let's say we were talking about something that happened today in uh, uh, for Apple. I think, we, like, we had this last, uh, not last time we did music, but I think two or three times ago we did it, where it was like, hey, we've pulled all of these old, old news stories from back in the day. And so, like, all of those are chances to talk about, talk about whatever. Speed Demon says, I know my real or fake game is in the queue. Is that so? Um maybe we do have some we do have games here um we, i know we have a whole we have a, n a number of uh um of, of games kind of in the backlog not a large number by the way uh, but we do have some i i hmm hmm well in any case in any case there might be there's stuff like that Oh, actually, uh, did we? I think we talked about this. We actually did talk about that. That's why I can't find it. We actually talked about that game in the after show last week. Um, the t so the uh, Speed Demons game about Star Trek. Um, I'm just gonna explain it because because 
uh, there are there are a couple things. There's really good. There's a really good idea in there, and there's there's a few really tough things about it, right? Um, we did this was uh, I think this was sent in the week uh, that we did um, that we had Heaton on the show who like loves science fiction and stuff um, and so Speed Demon used the GPT-3 machine learning like generate text generation um, tech to like come up with if he, he fed uh, the machine like your episode titles and synopsis of Star Trek episodes and then it spat out a lot of fake ones. And so the idea was, well, we would read it and then they would guess if it was real or fake. Um, my concern with that game is that, especially for for an episode where like Heaton is on, where like, yes, it is thematically appropriate because because Heaton's got the um, Alienating the Audience podcast, knows a lot of sci-fi. Um, but also... I don't, I, I like legitimately don't know how easy or hard the game is. And it's like, that's a good idea, but it needs like three ideas of that. Like, okay, here are real or fake Star Treks. Here are real or fake um, Babylon 5s. Here are three, three real or fake Battlestar Galactics. Like whatever, like, because one, if it's just like, oh yeah, it came up with another good Star Trek. Like at some point that novelty wears off and then the pool of stuff that they guys can talk about as they're playing it is really limited. Oh, so Ryan North, I see Ryan North, the, the, um, uh, the comics artist generated these. I see. Um, but, but even still the, 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 uh, the, the pool of stuff to talk about. Cause it's just like, okay, well, so we're going to talk about Star Trek episodes the whole time. I guess there's, you can ruminate on Star Trek. I'm sure Star Trek, I'm, I'm sure, sure Star Trek has, but that's one game where um, I would want to see it expanded just a little m more, right? Um, whether it's like every question is a possible potential game. Like, is this, uh, they're all different shows or something like that. That that would kind of be how I would want to punch that one up. Um, and so, but yeah, I think we talked about that. Mm, it probably would have been the after show with, uh, uh, with Andrew Heat. So, uh, check that out. Yeah, Scooper Nova Girl says sci-fi shows in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gentleman Top Hat says you could always do the game with the Japanese ads where they have to guess what the ad is for. <laughs> that one was a lot of fun. We also, and I'm worried we're going to get these for the game tonight, but um, they're very visual. Uh, that, that game especially is very visual. And uh, the listening audience, hey, it turns out doesn't uh, doesn't love that. Oh, do you need that? Uh, uh, oh, okay. Fine, everything's fine. <sighs> yeah. Nothing's fine. I can adjust the light. We're all fine here. How are you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unplug this and get some wipes. Right spill alert, everybody. Get the dog tags confirmed. Spill alert. Hello, everybody. Um, but yeah, so, so that was a game where um, where it was so visual, we had a lot of people write in sync. Like, I fucking hated this episode because I'm an audio listener first, and um, and uh, uh, and so I couldn't. I mean, you can describe it, but I I can't. Uh, I don't. I don't. You know, I I'm I'm trying to listen on my on my right, and now I can't do that. So um, I'm. This game is not as visual. It is partly visual, but it's not uh, as visual. So yeah, uh, spilled a little bit of what is that? A shiner, 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 light blonde, brew, a little bit. So uh, that'll uh, we'll have Brian on here in just a minute. He says it's almost like he's cleaning, but that that only works for seltzers. You can't really see that. With beer. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hello, everybody. Dr. Kyron says, Night Attack is one of the few podcasts that I subscribe to the video feed. Uh, and and that's that's great. It's it's awesome when we can do, when we have visual stuff, but the audio listeners are a couple of magnitudes larger. And so, um, and so it's trying, you know, trying to be accessible to them. So uh, I will, it will be interesting to see if we get any feedback of that ilk uh, for today's game. But I don't think, I think we, the last time we did this, which was only about six months ago, you did not get that same response, so fingers crossed. 
All oh, right. For goodness. the third time at okay. that. Here we go. For reals. Brian Brushwood. We're here. Everything's fine. Okay. We're Would you all, like any changes all... to your lighting? Um... <laughs> I, 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 you you know it comes from a, a place where where it's like I don't want to inconvenience you, but uh -huh. but 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 it's like you're you're constantly like I want to be inconvenienced. Well, and it's it's literally not an inconvenience, right? Like the thing that like you would just what, have to what? be talking, and then I would go and do it super quick. And it's uh, and it's one thing where it's it's um it's just easier also to have another person do it. You know like what you it is is mm -hmm. um. I grow more shameful with every dilettante adjustment I request, right? So it's like, let's say I asked you to adjust it, yeah. and then you did, and I'm like, no, a little to the left, a little to the right. Like, like, you don't have to feel any of the pain of being seen in public saying those things, but I do. So it's like, I would much rather uh -huh. just, just uh, like, like, in a weird way, me brute forcing it and, and screwing it up like this is somehow less unpleasant than, than than me asking five different times for you to change something uh -huh. uh, well, but, and also well like and also just like I don't know the start of the pre-show I'm always just juggling here by myself so I yeah. would not be opposed to like you guys being on the show and got talking it, and, got it. and if I have to adjust it, things and, 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 in the meantime and, 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 so, so to, from your perspective it's like uh, hey man do you think I enjoy these nine knives in the air uh <laughs> Personally, I'd like a break well, <laughs> from these nine knives that I have in the air. A, a little bit, and also like no one's gonna. The, now that you've put that out there and said that, that now people will like get on you about that if you ask for adjustments and stuff. But I don't think anyone really even cares. Yeah, we'll figure it out <laughs> someday. That means we, not, that means nothing will change. Think, uh, uh, are those are those people who are out there going to be sitting in for this? No. Because I heard something that made it sound like they might be. Oh well, they're they're welcome to. Or something would, that would, you would said. Would you like Would you like me to invite uh, them? Uh, no, that would be extra work I have to do. But uh, I just heard you say something on the way in that made me think. Oh. They might. Oh uh, no! But, I got I got like halfway through my book pitch uh, with one of the two of them, mm -hmm. and then the other one was like, "Hey, I heard half of the book pitch," and I was like, "All right, I'll give you the whole thing later," <laughs> and then, you know. Gotcha. Uh, so let me see. I think that HQ, yep. Like, like, what it, is my, it? Doesn't hmm? feel like it's 70 degrees in here to you, does it? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. huh. But I was, a, I've been in, I like, yeah, I don't know. I've been outside. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah. how's your Tuesday going, Brian? It's been a tumultuous ride. And I'm not sure which parts belong in the show and which parts belong in the pre-show. Um, okay. Sh should I just go ahead and offload the not great parts? I'm gonna, I would I'm, just I'm gonna say, guess that would probably make for a better show, right? I would say as the mediator of the pre-show, think about the energy that you are bringing into the space before you have to like be actually funny for an hour and a half. So I don't, I don't know what you're about to say, I don't. I don't know what the <laughs> what the well, bad news is or let, not. Let, but no, if we, well, no, let's, let's, <laughs> but I don't want us to spend another sixty minutes on. Hey, remember the sure, big sure, Beirut sure, explosion sure, sure. that killed everybody? Okay, uh, no, yeah. Let, let me let me let me get this We're out. Not of on system. that scale. Go for yeah, it. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, within the last year, there was a moment that one of my children screamed for my attention. Okay. And I and I and I and I laid in bed for five whole seconds, mm -hmm. trying to figure out if this was for real or not. Oh, geez. Uh huh. Right. And it turned out that it was, you know, my dog literally attacking and killing my youngest child. Uh, right? Did not kill your youngest child. Just uh, did. Just did a four out of four out of five. Uh, got a got a B plus on attempting to kill. Okay. Um, so mm -hmm. this morning. Um, and, and, and in general, it's known around the house that um, uh, dad tries to sleep in late on Tuesday mornings because he knows once, you know, once we start, it's going to go past midnight. It's, it's a big day, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this morning, I hear dad help, and I am out of that bed like a fucking lightning bolt, like mm -hmm. unreal speed. The door is open. I walk da, 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 past. Da, 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 da. I kid you not. I walk da, da, da. past three post-it notes that say pants. 
because uh, the kids are going back to school. They're okay. on Zoom meetings. So this is so if, Bonnie this is a has thing covered from the... everything with the word pants, right? I see. People have been mentioning this a lot. Apparently, this was a thing in happy hour that uh, – Mr. That Brian Brushwood needs to wear pants around the house Correct. because the kids Correct. may be on camera just somewhere. Who knows where these kids I, are even doing this? It sport. is 7.45 in the morning, and I have been mm -hmm. asleep for all of, man, almost five hours. And But I, I hear, Dad, help. Okay. And I am up like the blazes. I'm what was already the cadence, out the door. What was the cadence of Dad, help? Was it like, Dad, help? No, 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 no. It was full on scream. Mm -hmm. Dad, help! And so it's like, you know, I am up and out the goddamn door past every single one of those pants things. And uh, <laughs> including past, ironically, the pants that I made sure to hang on. on right on, there. You made it easy for yourself. <laughs> on, on, oh, on, on the, the actual On knob. the actual door. You yeah. had to like, like fuck with it Already to get it off to turn it. <laughs> I detect where it's coming from. I turn to my left I to go detect. running down the hall. I do a visual analysis of the situation. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> I kick open the door to Penny's room, mm -hmm. and I'm and and in in my bleary eyed 7:30 in the goddamn morning, a full three to four hours before everybody knows I'm supposed to be awake. Okay, and, and I'm just like, what's up? And and Penny. Fists in her eyes, 16 years old, says, mm. Callie is being so loud. Mm. I can't sleep. Mm. So I go put on pants. Mm. I peek in on Callie, who's, guess what, at school. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, all right. So maybe not, the, maybe not the most kosher order of operations, but you did cover the bases. Yeah. Um, and I do mean cover the bases. If there's something you know about Brian Brushwood, how good is he at going back to sleep? Um, a, a zero out of five. Yeah. So that was my morning. And mm. late morning and noon and afternoon. Mm. Uh, you know, the, uh, the advice that I go by when it's when i find it tough to sleep and granted i don't have cr chronic trouble falling asleep um it's like if you can't if you can't go to sleep don't try stop trying just turn the lights on man so i can sit and watch that, the tv or something that or change works. the environment when you can that works when you're not constantly thinking about how the only important thing you have to do today is be at peak performance between the hours of 10 p.m. to midnight Eastern. Like, uh, like, like, like in, in that situation, it, that's just a shrug and a, oh, well, I guess I'm up early and then stay up early all the way till now. Get that caffeine, extra caffeine. I mean, it's just like if, if you have trouble, like you can't force yourself to sleep um, if you're having trouble sleeping is my, my, like that, at least my experiences, well, yeah. if I am in bed and trying to sleep and I know I can't go to sleep and I can feel it. Like the thing that I'll do, um, is, and I haven't had to do this much lately cause I've fucking fallen asleep on the couch a lot is I'll get out of bed and go and lay on the couch and lights off, maybe turn something on TV, got a blanket, whatever. Um, I mean, but I suppose on the flip side, I know. You know, but in the morning, it's you, especially tough. Just you miss a hundred percent of the naps you don't try to take, you know. And it's like, like I know for sure if I just decide that I'm up for the rest of the day, then, then, then there's going to be a definite, particular flavor of sour Brian through the rest of the day. And and knowing that, like, uh, like the hope was to sleep in till eleven ish uh, or so mm -hmm. to start the day because I know we had two ads. We had to do an episode of Modern Rogue. We have new guests coming in. We had to pre-plan for tomorrow. We have pre-show, post-show. We have night attack in between. Um, mm -hmm. There's there's enough in there, and and it's and I know that it's not enough to just be there, you know. So so it's like it's like uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I perceive that uh, if I there's mean, a nap to be had, it needs to be taken. Well, and like, hey, find the time to take a nap. Sure, sure. I'm just saying, if it's seven o'clock and your body's saying, no, now I'm awake, now I'm going to do stuff. Like, okay, well then, 
go do something and try to take a nap in a few hours or something. Like, I, 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 I mean, what, like, what other than what did happen, like, what is the best, what do you think would have been the best solution to today? I don't know. Uh, the find 30 minutes to take a nap at some point or get some caffeine in you or maybe, uh, I mean, let's say I hit the ground running the work I'm going to get. I like, there's certain types of work that I can and can't get done during certain hours. So it's like the kind of work I could get done between seven and 1 PM is going to be nothing but busy work that will strangely only make me more exhausted. Right. Uh, but the work that matters is greeting our guests, setting up for the shoot, making plans uh, with other people, having meetings, uh, shooting the ads, uh, shooting the talking episodes of Modern Rogue, mm -hmm. you know, pre-show, post-show, night attack and all that stuff. So it's like, like, I just, I just see all that coming like a brick train and I'm just all like, mm -hmm. uh, well, I think. Uh, that's all a lot of good words to say you did the best that you could and you're doing the best that you can. Yeah. Also, I mean, uh, I'll be ignoring my children whenever they scream, dad, help. Because like, uh, by the way, little, little, little coda to the story, uh, just barely drifting off door kicks open. 16 year old says, Dad, I'm sorry I said I should help Dad. I shouldn't have done that. I know you need to sleep. Yeah, thank you. Slam. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. So that's that's kind of how. Okay, so the answer to how was your day is bad all but, right no 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 but 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 but, <laughs> what else? but uh, yeah i mean but, i like, mean I, bad bad on a brian scale is you know uh, like 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 the scat man's bad day you know where he was worried about the scat let's break this down let's break this analogy down the, okay, the scat yeah. man's bad day yeah yeah um <clears throat> in brian world everything is awesome everything is always forever so awesome there's never anything wrong he's got three kids He's got a dog, or at least he did, but he's got a new dog coming on the way. He's got the old so dog, many too. joys to say. He's got a funny show with his friend Justin, and Bryce has a game, probably, I hope, then. Um, <laughs> and that's that's the good day or the bad day for the scat man. It does sound jovial. He's also got three guests coming into campus while another one has already been living there for a month. He's shooting four episodes a day. Uh, hmm. Plus the ads, they don't go away. It's 104 degrees in Austin. Uh, God damn. <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Uh, okay. All right. We're all, we're all caught up. <laughs> I feel like I've, uh, I've come away from this conversation more confused than I did going into it. I mean, it's probably for the best. Oh, skibbity ba 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 Read Rob or read Brian. That's so much blue on your face. Are you sure you like that much blue? I, I, I would ask you to move it, but now we have now it's a thing. I'm gonna and just I don't give you a little less to, blue. I'm just gonna I, give I, you less blue. Can okay. you hold, yes, can you advance for sixty seconds? I can, I can. Uh I do like a little more halo and I'm wearing a dark shirt, which I know complicates things. So uh uh I do like that we naturally have gravitated to all of us setting up um uh corner depths in our shots. Uh mine's artificial. Yours is real. Justin's is real. And uh, uh, even uh, Andrew Maine does that. Uh, he does. He does do that. Hey, there we go. A little, just a little less blue. Yeah. Just a little, because you're getting it, because when you get it on your nose and you kind of get it too much on the neck, then it feels like, like oh my God, I, there's maybe, a lot. Maybe of... I stole some chewing gum from Willy Wonka. That's right. What it feels to yeah. chew five gum. And you get blue. Oh, and Veruca Salt. Uh, or, okay. Yeah. Right. I was, it's like, for a split I was like, second there, I was just like, I was like mm. is the divide that far between us? Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, that, John. Yes, uh, uh, no. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, 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 corners are good in shots. They they add depth, and um, you can usually line them up behind you so that uh, uh, you seem like you're the center of the world in, in them. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, how was the shoots? Good shoots today? They were. Uh, we did a little bit more than I thought we were going to do, and they were fun and funny, and uh, 
we managed to uh uh can we can you tease uh did okay you said you did a modern rogue episode was it something with our guests no no uh that's tomorrow Tomorrow. um we did uh we did sort of a would you rather bot uh-huh. Uh, we had six cases of humans that attacked wild animals with their fists, and we argued about which we would and would not do. And I was very surprised at where we differed. Oh, really? Uh, what did uh, I'm, what I'm did just each of you throw some out to... there? Uh, would you punch a kangaroo? Would I punch a kangaroo? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Fucking hell no. They got those big ass. They got those big ass uh, bottom paws. Mm-hmm. Uh, I. Uh, Bet they probably can uh, hook you, you know back, what? and they got the big tail. They could really fuck you up with that big tail. We can we can actually play this game. Sure. Oh, that's right, it. There we let's go. do it. I mean, I'm just gonna read the headlines. Okay. <clears throat> oh nope. Oh, I think it's over there. Is it's it? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's over there. I'm gonna get a little bit of music going, also. Oh, that's what we're looking for. And yes, Would You Rather Bach is back. I think you've been friends for reminding us. I I did see that he came back a few days ago, so that's that's great. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> time, six times humans were forced to fight nature with forced? their fists. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Okay. All I need is a sorting, right? You're the sorting a hat. A sorting, okay, let me, I'm gonna write. The Bryce sorting hat. Guy saves his dogs by fighting a cougar outside of Tim Hortons. Ooh. Also, the dogs are huskies. Also, the cougar is an actual mountain lion. Are cougars, are cougars and mountain lions different? I believe I believe they're interchangeable. Hmm. But if you say cougar, somebody might misinterpret what's happening. Please email us. Yeah. Okay, cougar to protect huskies. Got it. Yeah. Number two. A guy survives a bear attack by Ooh. jump kicking it in the chest. To clarify, he lived. Well, I assume. Also, oh, that the, the bear is an actual either black bear or brown bear. I don't think it was a grizzly. Okay, okay, okay. Also, not wearing leather. See, do, doing a jump. Uh, uh, am I? Am I going to do what these people did? I need you to pick. Because well, first of all, would you rather A or B? Between the two, between cougar yeah. or bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Well, th- okay, okay, so that leads to my question because Husk- if, if you tell me the husky that- is getting eaten, the husky face is two different colored eyes, and he's got this this mountain lion's fist on it. Okay, do, do, do you jump in and do that? Separate thing. Or nobody's in immediate danger. You just open the door to your basement. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm in immediate and it's like, danger, but what's up? It's me, a bear. Okay, do but- you jump kick the bear? So that's my thing is. If you tell me that I get to successfully jump kick a bear and survive it. Ah, uh, see, I didn't think about like guaranteed success. That does change it. Right. If it's not, if it's not guaranteed success, if it's not like you do exactly what these people do. I mean, it's would you rather, which would you rather do? Which would I rather? Okay, we'll would, take it like that. Which would, would you, I rather Would you do? rather save a husky I would tell, uh, <laughs> by peeling back the face of a mountain lion but do or a cool big jump, jump kick. kick a bear? <laughs> do a big jump kick would be really cool. Which would you rather? Um, would you rather? The, I, I think if I was ranking these two, it would be cougar. It would be cougar. Cougars. I could take a cougar, I think. Cougars with the fangs and everything? So do bears. Bears have got maws and they've got claws. You're trying to think of another thing that rhymes. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm taking okay, that too. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay but the I think, bear, uh-huh. you could close the door. I don't like that. If we're not saying I, I mean, don't get to succeed with the jump that's, kick. That's the way. I mean, okay. Okay. I if mean, I can't if, get if, the jump if, kick, if, then if, the Huskies if, are not if, a part of this. If the stipulation this. is you are successful, then fine. Okay. Then it's the okay. bear. All right. So bear. It's the bear. I want the jump kick. <sighs> Guy punches a kangaroo to save his dog. Hmm. What type of dog? Do you know? Do we know? Sneaker. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. The soon to be joining us, Weimar Honor. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> because I can, I can kind of relate. <laughs> I, I think, I think when you, when you made a rap and said that you only have, you, when you have a dog, I mean, excuse me, had a dog, when you definitely still have sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say. All right, all right. The uh, new okay. puppy, the new puppy, the new Weimar Honor. Okay. okay, uh, okay. Uh, tentatively named Gertrude. 
Okay. A.K.A. Trudy. True. True. Gertie. Gertrude. Okay. Gertie G. Versus the bear? Are we doing? Are we no, doing no, 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 rodeo no. rolls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kangaroo. The kangaroo is like choking it in front of you. Okay. You gonna punch that kangaroo? E. Or would you rather be jump kicking a bear? God, I would love to jump kick a bear though. Mm. Get it right in the get it right in the stern. I'm just tumbles thunk. all down. Just, it's, yeah, and it and falls. Meanwhile, meanwhile, that 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 totally cuddly wuddly covered in too much skin puppy is uh, he, uh, just being choked oh. by that Aussie. He says, "Oh, after this, I'm, I'm gonna have a dessert of red ants and fireworms." <laughs> Also, also, I, and what else do you eat? Like <laughs> ants, I love ants. Ants, kangaroos love to eat ants. Prawns. <laughs> I'll swim prawns. with some sharks after. <laughs> We're all criminals here. I think it is. Uh, Maybe commit some genocide. <laughs> oh Jesus! See, this 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 list is is kind of interesting because I think it will end up being inverted if we're assuming that I'm in the situation and successful. Cause I would love to say I jump kicked a bear and survived. But if this is like- I mean, you get to say that no matter what, it's a question of how long you get to say that for. <laughs> but like you might get as far as saying, I jump kicked a- <laughs> uh, But punching, punching a kangaroo is kind of like a cultural thing, right? Like boxing a kangaroo, right? So if, if I boxed totally a kangaroo survived, the it's a That's thing. how they pick prime minister. People in the chat know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, sure. Then I would pick the kangaroo, especially cause I could take a kangaroo. I, oh, or oh, I can take oh, it, sorry, oh, the second half of the sentence, oh, more than a bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you look up right now, <laughs> punching a kangaroo, uh, and I, I just want you to think twice about that. <laughs> I'm like I was, I was a hundred percent on board, and then all of a sudden you said some words, and I was well, like, mm, maybe I don't even know you. Uh, from our friends over. We're all looking forward to seeing Max on a. <laughs> yep. This might be the actual. It is. It this is. Look at that. Let it go, dogs. Let's go. Now the dog's coming. Oh, the guy backs away. The kangaroo doesn't even back away. Well, oh, it's going back. Sure what's going on here? But the roo has huh? the dog, not the other way around. That kangaroo looked like confused and insulted. Yeah. You punching me? You don't punch me. He's like, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> but also. Very doable. Wait, hold, hold on. D d d tell me you, uh, this would somehow, you tell me you somehow would do you're this? still, you do like, this? you save a dog and look at that. He's got, he's, he's got the fight. He's got, he's, he's up. got, he's squared up like Mickey from Snatch. And he's like, Psh. he's like, I'll fight you for it. Give me a fucking caravan. Come on. <laughs> Who is this he man? It twice. No, it's a, that's a slow-mo. Oh, I like you doesn't say, doesn't bring someone like that unless he's trying to say something. This Fuck. only fu this only fuels more than I think I could take a kangaroo without even the stipulation more right. than a bear. All right, so you're sticking with the bear. Well, no, I'm saying I, I would take the... Mm -hmm. I'll take the kangaroo. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. So that's a, that you you have to give up all previous choices. There's no chance you'll ever jump kick a bear after this. Yes, because I will have but successfully will, punched but, a kangaroo. But you will have but I'll punched a kangaroo. kangaroo. Then I'll get 70 million views from our friends at Firehog. <sighs> okay, all right, all right, number four. And you'll have saved a dog. <laughs> like, I like that. That's I just don't think an that dog was. I think the dog was Dude, in the danger. The dog was in a headlock. Say, you got a problem with dogs? Art dags? Dag? <laughs> I'm googling art. That only makes it better. The dude's wearing the hat from Mickey, <laughs> and he's he's saving a dag <laughs> while punching a well, kangaroo. I think the dog is not that much in danger because kangaroos are herbivores. I mean, it's not like he was gonna eat it. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna break it back. <clears throat> Number four. A dude punches a gator. Oh. Right in its eye for snatching his dog. Why are all of these dog stories? Because because people do weird shit when they're defending their dogs. Mm -hmm. And and that's that's when that's when you stop thinking and you start feeling and you start punching. Punch a gator in the eye. Gators which do not have butts. <laughs> yes. Wait, they don't? I 
I did. This was the topic of oh, the they previous don't have, episode. They have buttholes. They don't have butts. That's correct. Correct. Right. Yes. Snakes and gators snakes do and not gators. have butts. It was snakes. That was it. Yeah. Uh, man, I would go the gator. Hey, we got a bucket of sex toys. I forgot to tell you. Grab one on your way out. Uh, okay. We we might be about to be sponsored by Adam and you. Okay. Um, I would do the gator. It would be even more impressive to be like, I punched a gator. Then I punched a kangaroo. You don't think? Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> you and I, uh. Wow. Ah, that's satisfying crack. Oh, he ain't going to get that on a gator. It's going to no. be like, it's going to be like punching a, a desk in frustration. But then a f the fucking fortress of a gator goes away. I mean, does it? Do you so, tell me? You got the article. Um, That's my, th I think I would, I mean, I popping like. Popping the alligator right in its dog snatching eyeball. And right in the eyeball too? I bet there was juices. Nah. Huh? I don't know. That makes it grosser. I just want, I just want to pop a kangaroo. Mm. Um, let's see. Yeah. All right, what's after gator? <sighs> okay, so you pick gator? I pick gator. Over kangaroo? Over kangaroo. Both to save a dog? Yeah. Huh. Because a, a, a gator would fuck up a kangaroo. Yeah, but a kangaroo would be an international incident. You're just a Florida man. But Australians, gator. Australians hate kangaroos. They're lousy with them. I know. <laughs> you'd would... be doing them like, no, no, you'd be an international hero. You'd be like the <laughs> Iron Man of, of punching kangaroos. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Scooper Nova Girl has a suggestion. <clears throat> oh. But before that. Okay. A woman pries a mountain lion's jaws apart to pull her son's head from its mouth. Ooh. Five year old kid. Five years old. Has a mountain lion, mountain lion. eating its head. She grabs she it. Pries it apart. She, she got that mom energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got to tell you what, man. I don't know if I could stop. I think I'd go all the way. Oh. I, I, I think I would King Kong against that <laughs> T-Rex moment. Just, just tear it in twain. Just break it in two. Okay, I like that. I I would put a mountain lion and a gator on similar power levels. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. And if it's to save a kid, I mean dogs are dogs are cool, but but and, humans for humans. Uh, okay, you're right about that. Humans over dogs. Uh, we, we've established my position on that pretty firmly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. In terms of sheer satisfaction. Oh my god. Pop. <laughs> I mean and the confused look of this of this kangaroo. But, but here's like, the thing, boy, it's mate. like like I bet it would be I bet it would be satisfying to punch something. Like punch something real square and get it get it right now. Get it right. If we, but, and get it but, confused and ashamed of itself and then one humiliate of, it by putting it on YouTube, 70 million views. One of the most powerful parts of wild animals is their jaws. If I could say I I uh, against an aggressive mountain lion could rip its jaws open to save yeah, a kid but, yeah but 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 you got mm. that mom adrenaline yeah that's, that's yes. more powerful i mean that's if you want yes, if you want me right. to name one thing more powerful <laughs> than a mountain lion's jaws it's, it's mom, energy. Be mom energy big mom energy for a five-year-old <laughs> right? Right, right. Right? Right? Uh, right that's right that's right right okay that's that that's an easy mountain lion for me <sighs> all right here we go final final one and i'm I still i'm have... still punching that kangaroo in the face okay i believe we'll have justin on the line uh shortly Okay. Thank you, everybody. This one has details that matters. Okay. I'm going to read the headline, mm -hmm. and I'll get your take first, and then I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. Oh, okay. A man wrestles. Sorry. I should say where this took place. You shouldn't or should? I should. Okay. But I'm betting you already know. Uh, if it's the thing that we hinted at a minute ago, then I have a strong inkling. What letter does it start with? An S. No? Is it man the most dangerous animal? <gasps> what type of man? A wrestler? Getting closer. No, um... Where is he from? 
from Florida, for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Florida man. <laughs> oh, okay. wrestles. Oh, I thought you were saying oh. he wrestles. A, he wrestles no. another man. No. The no. most dangerous animal of all is Florida man. <laughs> That's not even You're not wrong, dude. Dudes will eat your face right off. I've, I've seen the footage. A man wrestles a seven-foot-long shark to uh. shore. To shore. In order to save his nephew's arm, not even his kid. Sure. Grabs this thing, but as as, as wrestles it, it huh? all the way to shore. Ready for this? Okay. The arm was already. <gasps> no! No! They later were able to reattach. Well, good. They were able to do it because he was he acted in time. It's okay. a it's a okay. it's a Buster Blue situation. Look me right in the eye uh -huh. and tell me that you don't do some quick calculus <laughs> and say. I mean, it's all ready. <laughs> what are you gonna do with? <laughs> oh. I mean, it's already the bleeding I mean, stopping. The bleeding is slowing down and, significantly. Uh, <laughs> and get them all the way. Ah, uh. oh, man. See, I assumed. I ass okay, so I did. I did assume from Scooper Nova Girl's comment that it would be about a shark. This final one, but I thought it would be just the the kind of very common thing of like, oh, I punched a shark. Right. And right. then it's like something was thrashing or whatever. No, no, no. This guy had a bite and right. was saying, peace out. I'll see you. We're square. And then this oh. dude said, no. <laughs> Went running in. Uh -huh. I assume grabbed it by the gills, wrestled it up to shore. They had to use like a, 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 a they, they, what, what did it say? Like calipers? No, that's nothing. Um, hooks? A park ranger. I'll came over, her. shot the shark dead. Ooh. So congratulations, oh, okay. shark murderer. Uh, started <laughs> using his baton. Mm -hmm. His baton? To pry open. Ah. Uh, 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 so you kind of get a couple of different things, right? You get you get the underwater brawl. You get to wrestle it to shore. That's an amphibious fight. Uh, and then you get to do a little magic trick with the hand in the mouth. <laughs> Um. <laughs> all right. Shark, shark v mountain lion. If we're if we're saying that we do the things that go on, then it's then it's definitely the shark. Even if the bear, even if it was versus jump kicking a bear, which I still I still hold a candle for in my heart. I mean, it's hard to beat that. That's like an incredible situation. Who wouldn't want to do that? Oh, Brian Brushwood wouldn't want to do that. He wants to punch a kangaroo? Oh my god. Who doesn't want to punch a kangaroo? <laughs> and their smug Aussie faces just you know, like bah, 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 bah. It mm. didn't even fight back. He was confused. He didn't yeah. expect that kind of bravery from 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 I bet that dude was American. The guy who punched the kangaroo? Yeah. Is he? In, we in could probably heart. look it up. Yeah, maybe. I mean oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's just decide he was. Uh well I'm, I'm American. You're American. Mm. Wouldn't Aren't you? Isn't that downplaying your okay. argument? All honesty on the table. <laughs> just, just. What? Kelly's arm, chomp, chomp. Fish swimming away. You gonna run out there and go Me? grab that oh, fish? Me? Oh, why? You said, you said it like, uh, like it was my my kid. Um, I mean, it, yeah, was, that it wasn't his honest. kid. That's the that it was yeah. his nephew. That we can't yes, say that we, we, we you would. Are you telling me you would? Are you telling me you wouldn't? I mean, I would, but it's my kid. What if it wasn't your kid? What if it was my kid? I mean, I mean, uh, I, don't have a kid. Uh, uh, I, 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 I mean, the question is, which do you want to do? Yeah, which and is the best? We're picking the best. Which is the best to have would done? Would you rather? The question which is, would you rather? And it's the shark. I would it's rather, the shark. I would I rather, would rather save. punch a, <laughs> a kangaroo in the face than than have to go chase down a have shark to. with the severed arm of my nephew. And there you, you go. And you win. And you win. And you save the arm. The kid gets to have the arm. Yes, but I don't get 70 million views on oh whatever that's on Oh, my God. On, on, on that's what it bros. is. It's whatever coming bees is. again. We it's do coming skip. bees. What? <laughs> you talk <laughs> into the coming bees bit again. <laughs> All right, so so you so you're, you you ended up on shark. I like the shark. I like the All shark. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
Is 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 Bryce? Uh, uh, sorry, is Whoop. Justin coming? Uh, yeah, he'll be here in a minute. Right. Thank you. We know Bryce is coming. <laughs> dot dot dot. Mm-hmm. Bees. <laughs> You're the one coming. Bees. You wanted for your bond collect. Uh, uh, thank you to everyone who was watching Justin R. Young stream and uh, joined the raid. I hope you guys had a good time with DNC. Justin will be on this stream in just a few minutes. So hello, everybody. Um, I guess I'll get Ooh. beverages. Uh, do you want something? You 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 want one of those uh, crazy seltzers? Uh, crazy yeah. Fro- crazy frog has a seltzer. Now. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I would. Is a crazy seltzer. I would have a. Cr- would you have a crazy? Which the, would you rather have? A crazy frog hard seltzer, or or I would a, rather have the crazy ha- uh, frog or tequila. A Six Flags Man Forty. Oh, six Flags forever. Really? Uh, yeah. Six even flag though it's a forty. 40. Even though Did even though 40s? one of those flags is the Confederate flag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. we'll put, we'll crazy that crazy frog, too European, by a lot. <sighs> so he's very European. He is very European, but that's fine. Well, which is more American? <laughs> that's not the, question. the Americans who quit America, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> or the I mean, Europeans the six from flags, whom uh, the Americans quit? A lot of those six flags <laughs> like, aren't American flags. <laughs> I know, right? I, well, uh, yeah. yeah. It was, it was, it, it's kind of a list of all the people that conquered that <laughs> land. It is kind of weird, right? Also, Kuhan Luke pointing out the Venga Boy is definitely European. Major European vibes on Venga Bus. Or what about uh, Menudo brand? Mm-hmm. Um, Menudo brand Menudo. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's got to be Menudo brand. Oh, uh, 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 wine cooler. Ooh, <laughs> a Menudo wine cooler. I mean, a wine cooler of the three, probably my preferred. Ooh, <laughs> and every few years they change out the what, what flavors of Menudo are available. But not the pictures that are on the label. <laughs> no, it's still 1982, the... flash frozen <laughs> on this wine cooler that's forever. A per- that's the perfect idea. We need to shut the stream down and go to Ambev and sell this. That's we great. Got, we have some pitches to make. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, Menudo wine cooler or Crazy Frog Seltzer or uh, or the Six Flags Forty, Six Flags, 40. Six Flags Man Forty, or a Vanilla Ice Smirnoff Ice. Oh, that's a slam dunk, man! Yeah. Collaborate and glisten. And listen. Oh, and yeah. glisten. Oh, that's good. That's that's. And the hungry. bottle is all yeah. sweaty. Yeah. And it's cool. It's cold as ice. Ooh. Cold as ice. Ice. Cold as ice. Ice baby. Smirnoff ice. Keep going. You're almost no. there. You're almost no, there. I'm, uh, Smir- Smirnoff ice, Smir- ice baby. Yeah, Smirnoff ice, ice baby. That's cold. it. That's what it is. Smirnoff ice, <laughs> ice, ice, ice baby. baby. <laughs> Too cold. Too cold. Smirnoff ice, ice baby. Oh my goodness. Stop. We're not a ripoff of Mike's Hard. We're a totally new original canard. Uh, oh, uh, I'm almost, I'm, I'm almost on to something. Yeah, there. We almost got this. Like, here. like, like, acknowledge that they're ripping off, Lord. you know, Mike's Hard Lemonade, something, something. Yeah. Uh, uh, harder. There's nothing harder than ice. Oh, oh, dude, dude, dude. No, no, no. Uh, uh, ice, ice, baby, some bros, some bros. And then it's like, it's you <laughs> going around. Meme, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one, Justin Robert Young. So we've, we've set up a little menu here of drink options. I'd like you to pick your favorite. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's right. do it. Uh, the first one we had was uh, the Crazy Frog Hard Seltzer. It's it's a hard seltzer, but it's Crazy Frog branded. Right. Uh, okay. Number two. Right. Probably blueberry-ish. Yeah. I'm going to imagine. It would have to be like Crazy Berry. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, are we talking the stock? I mean, because it's a hard seltzer, so you're going to have 50 different variants, right? So is there like but, a, but, an, but an OG? Unfortunately, all of them are going to taste just a little bit like blueberry. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. But it's like blue. Like there's like crazy frog, and then it's like crazy frog lemonade and crazy frog no, elderflower. Like, they still, like, like they're all labeled that secretly. Yeah. You could tell they're. Well, yeah. Yeah. They're all. Yeah. They're all. Yeah. They're all. Uh, yeah. Very. Okay. I'm okay. With so it. okay. Crazy frog hard seltzer. Uh, Six Flags Man Forty. Ooh. And on the Six Flags, it includes that Confederate flag. <laughs> it does include all the flags, including the Confederate flag on okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Menudo wine cooler. 
Uh, it's a wine cooler. They change flavors all the time, but it always has a picture of the original cast of Menudo from the early 80s. They never okay. change that. Never change it. All right. And uh, the fourth one is oh, vanilla ice, Smirnoff ice. Yeah. Also, not right. vanilla. What you drink? What you drinking? So wait, um, are you asking what I'm ordering or mm -hmm. what I think will be the most successful? What are you ordering? You, you saddle up to the bar. Hey, give me a... Give me one of these and you know I love it because I'm wearing their shirt is, is well, what you have to... That's how you get it. You have to say, <laughs> you know I love it because I'm wearing You just give me shirts. one of these. Give like, me one of like, these. Two of these, please. No, no, no. Yeah. Wait, so unless I walk unless up to a if bar. it's a certain one you say... Dose of these, please. Yeah. No, I walk up. I walk up to the bar, and the bartender asks me what I want, and then I pull my shirt out so it's like, like a, a six inches from my stomach, and I just go, "What do you think, Jag off?" <laughs> or maybe, maybe, maybe you have like a um, gangster style tattoo that says, "I forever only drink," and it's this name. So it's like, yeah. and the, the only way you're able to order forever, like, what'll it be, bro? You have to go. Oh. But by the way, I always pull it over my face. Like, I'm that confident. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, I don't even want to see their reaction. Like, you're eating, it, a, you're, like, you're, like you're eating an Ortolan. You have to hide your shame as you show yeah. your, your tattoo. Yeah. So what is your ink? Well, besides the discordant ink notion that drink. I'd be that I'd be ordering this volume of beverage in a bar, I, I would have to go with the uh, uh, Six Flags Man 40. Really? The Six yeah, Flags, that's, that's where uh, I ended up, too. Of those, of all that branding, number one, I genuinely think if you were to get the license to the Six Flags Man and take it in a dangerous direction, like, it was a, like, d idea more dangerous than it was silly, and and that's what kind of made it memorable. Like, but like so you could, dangerous, it's in like action park territory. Is that where we're yeah. headed? Well, no, not physically. Like, although maybe, like, <laughs> like or something that's gonna happen before you get to action park because you're in a a van with this weirdo. Like, <laughs> it was a bold move. How was uh uh everybody? Justin Robert Young joining us. How was um how was the convention? Uh, boring as hell. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of boring stuff, but they mostly did the roll call tonight. Oh, um, where the delegates so, uh, pledge. Literally, it's like, from the great state of Minnesota, where uh, old blues man, uh, 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 Digny Portavius, once uh, made the first uh, use of a flute. Like we we cast our votes three for Joe Biden or one for a dog with a bandana and uh, forty five for the next president a bigger dog with a bandana <gasps> bigger dog bigger dog your honor your honor from the great state of Scotland let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> over in scatland we ain't got no precedents that's because there is no precedent for a land without a leader no currency no fearless breeder that's right i'm totally enabled to make children and i have a mustache <laughs> sorry <laughs> instead yeah. of people behind him cheering yeah. it's yeah. dolphins <laughs> cresting out of the water yeah <laughs> cresting yeah i don't know where these kids came from i'm sorry <laughs> oh god <laughs> and mostly no one lies to you <laughs> no one is lying i'm not hung up you're hung up because you lied <laughs> a bitty beep bop beady bop body boo to boo to boo to buy the boo beep bah harris <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, no, it was mostly sounds, boring. Uh, Although it's, it's still going on, it's still going on, and uh, uh, it is uh, Jill Biden speaking. Although apparently a surprise run-in by Colin Powell. I did see that on. I did. See all that on the Twitter. kids, mm. all the kids, they've all been saying, you know, what their antifas and their <laughs> DSAs and their bail funds. They're all like, you know, you know who I want. I want. I want to hear more from Colin Powell. Who was that guy that tricked us into invading Iraq? Give us that guy. The the one he had a vial. Mm -hmm. Loved the Cold War. 
Look kind of uh, like James Earl Jones. A, a, just a little bit. Scatman, that's who we're that's thinking right. of. Yeah. Beat up booty boop boop boop. Beep 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 Look at both of these. They're vials of my sperm. It's me, the your favorite worm. I they weren't know. sperm, right? No, no. Okay, no. because no. someone it was, it was, no, I'm not going to deny. It it. I'm not going to claim yeah. to be able to confirm nor deny whether or not he was actually holding up his own sperm. Because someone on Twitter also made that joke, man. and I was like, that can't have been what happened. I mean, right? I agree. That would be so weird. Can we all agree <laughs> it would be really weird if Colin I Powell will... led us into a war with Iraq by holding up a jar of his <laughs> own ejaculate? It... That 20... would be very weird. 2020 is so although, wild although that it could so affect weird. history in that way. Although, by the way, if we're going to rank epic deathbed confessions, <laughs> like if Colin Powell was like, all right, I'm about to die. But for real, remember that tube I was holding up? I came in that. But a big Arbox got yellow cake. But I'm really baked. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Well, uh, I, I'm sure you're going to have more coverage Wednesday and Thursday, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, coverage uh, tomorrow and the day after that, uh, live from the Smoky Back Room. Uh, and uh, yeah. Godspeed. No, hopefully, uh, yeah, we, we've had great crowds. Uh, we actually had yeah. a bigger crowd tonight than we did yesterday, which is interesting because uh, it was way boring. Mm. <laughs> it was like literally watching paint dry. So I was excited that people hung out. Well, they knew what people wanted after day one. So, yeah. They wanted uh, that yellow cake. To be to be fair, day two is always the sucky day. Day mm -hmm. two, like historically, is when nothing happens. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that I look like George Washington. You don't look like George Washington. Mm, I don't know. You look like the berries and cream agree, guy agree, more than Jerry. Agree to Washington. disagree. Did you get your hair cut, or is that just how it's laying? Yeah, it's, it's gotten long enough that it's laying. That you should get a perm. The kids are getting perms now. Yeah. 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 A modern what? rogue get a perm. Man, you don't look like that. I look like that when my hair is long. You don't look like that. No, you look more like um, the the one from Hamilton. Mm, no, I was thinking of Prince Valiant from Space or Prince Valium from Spaceballs. Yeah, that's a that's my cue to go get a a, a <laughs> haircut. A Boston Lager. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> I, uh, eh, eh. No, no, this no, no, is no, no, berries no. and cream. No, 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 no. It's no. Not Prince a... Valium, Beep, Valium cake. from Spaceballs. Valium, ah, uh, Valium. That's like the the play off it. That's the silly version. Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Uh, this is just blonde berries and cream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Now I'm gonna just for people who don't know. Truly, truly, an icon of our time. Who's Berries and Cream? You don't... Oh, Berries and Cream. The um, the Starburst commercial. Oh. Uh, iconic, iconic Starburst commercial. You tried these new Berries and Cream Starburst? Pardon me. What kind of Starburst did you just say? Berries. Berries? Berries and what else? And cream. Oh! Oh! Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. <laughs> I mean, pretty epic. I had never seen that before, Bryce, uh, and my life was poorer for it. Oh, wow, wow. Uh, that's just so great. Just so great. Uh, February 2020, what, uh, WideOpenEats.com. Whatever happened to the Starburst Bears and Cream little lad? Incredible. February. This is two, six, six months ago. Um, apparently, this is what he's up to. He's uh, some sort of dancer, I think. Oh, apparently, uh, Kuhan Luke says this guy's an acting professor and he hates the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Fervor. Jack Fervor. Yeah. Wow. Okay. There we go. Hey. I mean, whatever, dude. Cash that check. That's what matters. Do you think you're getting a lot of zids on a Starburst commercial? Because you know those are all national ads. Well, no, national ads matter. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I always wonder how much the flow lady makes. That lady has been on television in national, like two or three national ads a year for like 10 years. She has to have banked. I'm going to type flow progressive. How does she make? Whoa. Celebrity net. Oh, okay. This is celebrity net worth, which is like famously. Un- God knows. In- right. Yeah. Inaccurate. Stephanie Courtney earns $1 million per year playing flow. In those commercials. And that's a, that's a while. That's a while too. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, that's a dude, a cool million for like two a, weeks of work. A couple of commercials a two year. Two works. Yeah. I think she was in Mad Men too. She was like an uh, like really? a featured extra on Mad Men oh. Flow. That's cool. Now you can't have an opinion. You're not gonna see the Flow lady out on oh, Twitter no. being like defund the police. Like you know, like that. Like you have to that that because then suddenly with... police reports don't come in, and then we gotta then oh, hey, the suit's gotta have a talk. Yeah. yeah, now all of a sudden progressives like oh, I don't know what mm-hmm. if uh, Flo fell in a, a, a sewer and died. <laughs> Let's also replace her with a stack of cash and googly eyes. No one remembers that. Oh my God! Right? Remember that? I guess they have tried. They 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 progressive. Oh no, Geico's Geico. the one that does. Geico does all the like. They they make sure nobody catches that check. Yeah, they're like cavemen. Get out of here. Like we'll replace you with a camel, and then we're gonna replace the camel with a with a pig, and then we're gonna replace the pig I with like a the dog. Pig. Like, I did like the pig. Wee! I like the pig a little bit. No, Geico's. Uh, 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 was good. I um, I always remember Geic- the ad agency that Geico uses was based in Richmond, and people in the arts college that I went to, which is in Richmond, always wanted to go work there. And they no, like you want to know what? I always line. knew they were DC based because they would do ads. Uh, Geico would do ads during national hockey games that would always feature the Capitals. Oh, like they were, they were like, I knew that they were DC area based because they would, oh, they would never do ads that didn't have Capitals players in it. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, Justin, do you need a, you need a break? You need to go get a drink? You, uh, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I will grab uh, a, a bevy and a menudo. Go for it. <clears throat> or a vanilla ice. I like the wild Smirnoff cherry ice. menudo. I oh. like the wild cherry. Oh, okay. Well, perfect. I like that. Um, get a get a Six Flags forty. <laughs> a Six Flags forty, I think, could I think it work. Might be one of the best ideas we've had. It could work. <laughs> okay. All of these, I like, think, are solid. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I, I'm I'm rather pleased with that one. Do you think? Nope. If when vanilla ice was big. And if Smirnoff Ice existed at the time, that they would have done a promo. Um, I think that there's a less than zero chance that Smirnoff Ice was named so because it had been exactly five years after after his, ice. his fame had dropped. Okay. And it was, you know, the word ice was ready for a comeback. Oh, interesting. I, I, I think he already was the name of it. Oh, that's an interesting. Oh, that's a theory. That's a theory. Yeah. Oh. Justin, uh, Justin, what do you think of this the, the theory that vanilla ice? I don't want to say conspiracy theory. I didn't say conspiracy. Just floating it here just in the a, room, just man. A theory. Just look, a, uh, uh, president of uh, North uh, the North America territories is here. <laughs> We're just all floating ideas. <laughs> I mean, but if, if you do like this one, I want my name at, uh, attached to it. I'm what is saying. what is the what is the conspiracy? What's happening? Uh, that Smirnoff Ice was deliberately named uh, five years after uh, uh, Vanilla Ice's star had faded uh, because it was a single syllable that was masculine that uh, was known but no longer associated with that one person. Well, the first time that I remember an alcohol being named Ice was Bud Ice. Budweiser had Bud Ice, uh, yeah, and that uh, was th- and that, that was a little bit earlier. That was in the early '90s, and the gimmick on that was they were following on like a, I want to say Ice House Brewery. Like basically, what if beer was uh, twice Cold. as twice as potent? Uh, what if we took oh, beer yeah. and then made a margarita out of it, and then and then took all the water parts out of it, and now you have beer that's twice as strong. It's Ice House. Oh, is that popular? Uh, now it's Bud Ice. Hmm. Yeah. And but now, that was the first time that I remember ice being a part of it. 
um, or ice, uh, ice being in there. And so I don't know if there's any ties in the Smirnoff to Bud. I don't know if in the weird corporate structure of alcohol, there's any connection there or, but no, I'd buy it. I'd, I'd buy that, 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 that's how it, that's how it came together or, or in like, they got 50 names and they're testing all of them. And people are like, I like ice the best. Well, and, and the reason why keep, is because they keep, remember vanilla ice. Keep in mind also that, uh, sweet, uh, sweet drinks like that had a rep. I mean, uh, the, the precursor to that was Zima and it was thought of as yeah. Zima, Zima is the thing that you use to get 17 year olds drunk. Right. Uh, uh, Female seventeen or year olds. women, yeah. I was gonna say right, that right. was, but but it was a feminine feminine brand, so they wanted yes. something intentionally masculine, which is why yeah. you wanted to get away from the Bartles and James, and you know, so Bartles that, and that, James, Bartles and James, like Sorry. right around the same time that you saw like uh, you saw uh, a, 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 a Mike's Hard Lemonade, it's for bros, dude, or Hard yeah. Cider, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. it's cider that. Well, Kick your ass in a fight. Ugh, Got a so hard masculine. dick. A hard dick on this cider. Look at the dick on this cider. So fucking hard. We're doubling our markets, uh, you. Uh, getting thirsty for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> interesting. Interesting stuff. All right. Um, hey, everybody. Direction nice. Yeah, are you ready to do a... Yeah, let's do a show. Yeah, let's baby. start a show let's now. Start, let's start a show let's right start now. Start a show. All right. All right. Then I'm gonna click some buttons and we're gonna do the do. I'm gonna move these over here. All right. Here we go. <laughs> 